Hello, welcome to the Deliciously Simple Food Channel. I'm Shelly. Today, we're gonna to be making a guacamole rice wrap. And so I prepped all the ingredients and we're ready to go here. And so you'll see that I made the salad here and we're sort of gonna go over the salad. We're gonna go over what's gonna be in the guacamole. Um, and then we're gonna put the wrap together and we're gonna be using uh, rice paper and we're gonna do a rice paper wrap today. Now, I've titled this episode or this, this video, um, This Food Will Transform Your Life. And, you know, it's not clickbait. It definitely will. And I'll tell you that about that a little bit later on in the video today about how this food and simple foods like this, whole foods, can transform your life because it's transformed mine. So, let's talk about the salad. So we've got a salad here that we've made and I'm gonna go over the ingredients of this salad. So to make this salad, I got a couple of handfuls of, of arugula, I got a couple of handfuls of spinach, I threw in there some tomatoes, some shredded carrots, some orange uh, bell peppers, some onions, some um, radishes, and also some cucumbers. And this makes a fantastic salad on its own, but when we're, we're going to also add it to the guacamole wrap that we're going to make and it's going to sort of just give the guacamole wrap a little bit of added nutrients and a little bit of just added taste so it's going to be fantastic and i've got some of these alfalfa sprouts in here as well that we're going to throw in the guacamole wrap so one of the first things we got to do is actually make the guacamole and so i have all the ingredients here prepped and I'll sort of talk about them as we go along. And, uh, and hopefully you can sort of, if you're cooking at the same time as you're watching me, hopefully this is gonna help you as well and help you cook along with me. So I love it if you cook along with me um, and it will be fantastic. So one of the first things we have is I have a half of a Roma tomato and I've just chopped them up into small chunks and I'm just gonna put them here into my bowl. And then we're gonna make that as part of the guacamole here. So now that I have that, we also have one uh, green onion. If you want to substitute that with chives or you want to substitute that with cilantro, by all means, you can go ahead and do that. Um, green onions is what I had today. So I have one green onion and I'm going to throw that in here and we're going to make sure that that gets added to our guacamole. I also have a red onion. I love putting red onions in here because the more color that you have in here, the more nutrients you have. And all these ingredients are raw, so it's gonna really have an impact when you eat it. Um, and having foods that are raw and raw vegetables, for me, made such a tremendous impact. And so, you know, we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. So that's the red onions in there. So half of a uh, aroma tomato, one green onion, and less than a quarter of a red onion. Um, I'm not sure how to say that, I didn't measure it, but less than a quarter, um, it's probably like, you know, less than a quarter cup in there as well. And I got about a, a tablespoon and a half of, um, I, I, I guess these are bits, I guess these are sun-dried tomato bits. So I have a teaspoon and a half of these sun-dried tomato bits that's gonna go in here. I love putting sun-dried tomatoes in my guacamole. I think it adds such a fantastic flavor. The other thing that you wanna add in guacamole is I have grated two cloves of garlic. So I've got two cloves of garlic grated in here. Let's throw that garlic in here and make sure, because that garlic is going to add such a flavor to the guacamole and it's gonna be amazing. The last ingredients, side ingredients that I have here is I have, uh, I, I guess this is sort of like gourmet Dijon mustard in here. So I add gourmet Dijon mustard into my guacamole and for me, I find it's amazing. It gives it such a flavor. It gives it such like, ah, I love it. Anywho, add some Dijon mustard in there if you're a mustard person. If you're not a mustard person, don't add it in there for sure. And then I got about half a tablespoon of salt and half a tablespoon of black pepper in here. And I'll go ahead and I'll add some salt and black pepper in here. 
and then I'll add the rest later as I put the avocados in. So the last ingredient in our guacamole is the avocados. I've got three very, very ripe avocados in here. Uh, I'm not going to show you the process of me chopping up these avocados because it's so messy. Some people can chop up avocados and make it look fantastic. I can't. My hand gets messy. Everything gets messy. Everything's in. So anyway, I am going to chop up these avocados. And then when we come back, you're going to see the avocados in these bowls. So give me a moment and then I'll be right back. Ooh. So welcome back. I, I have my avocados in the bowl and we're going to make guacamole. So all the ingredients is in there. I've got my avocados in there. I've got a little bit of salt and pepper left and I've got a half of a lemon. And this is all going to be used to make the guacamole. So now that I've got the avocados, let's go ahead and let's mash up the, the avocados and then make our guacamole here. I'm going to grab a spoon and then we're going to make sure that as I do this, that I don't spill all over the place. So let's get going. So as I mash up the the avocados here and, and making the guacamole, I love to mash it like it's mashing, you know, like I'm doing mashed potatoes. And one of the reasons why I love mashing it up is that the Roma tomatoes, um, gets juicy in there and all the other ingredients gets mixed in there really really well some people like to stir it i like to sort of mash it up and it turns into a really nice guacamole paste and as it's you know being mashed and things like that i'll, I'll come in and i'll take a little swig here of, of lime or lemon whichever one you have and that's enough for the guacamole and then i'll add the remainder of the salt and pepper here that I have um, on the counter. So the salt and pepper, I didn't really give you a measurement for the salt and pepper because it's based on your individual taste. Uh, if you like a lot of salt and pepper in your food, go ahead and add it to your liking. If you don't like a lot of salt and pepper in your food, then you know, add less if you'd like. But essentially, this is it. This is how we make our guacamole and my guacamole, I love it. It turns out amazing. And I think the Dijon mustard that you add to, that I added to the guacamole, makes it taste absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna just continue to mash this up here. And then as we go, then we'll make our rice wrap. And we're gonna throw a little bit of the salad into the rice wrap here, along with the guacamole. And, and then I'll talk more about how this food will transform your life because honestly it's really transformed mine so now that i have made this guacamole here and it's it looks amazing and it's going to taste amazing i'm sure and just look at that guacamole it's just amazing oh, ah all right so let's make our rice wrap here and then we'll talk about you know this food transforming our lives so in terms of the rice wrap what i have here is i just have one of those uh frying pans here and i didn't have sort of a large enough bowl for it so i figured i'll put it in a frying pan and all i did was put a little bit of warm water into the frying pan and then once you put a little bit of water into the frying pan then we'll put the rice wrap in and then we'll put everything on the rice wrap and really roll it up so let me get started here and set things aside and you know I have my rice wrap here and then I have these plates that I'm going to use to put things in after I do the wrap and then we're going to put some salad into the wrap itself all right so let's start with well let's not start with this particular rice wrap now that it's like cracked on me here and this is like you know cooking at its finest there's no cutting here <laughs> you know like if the rice wrap breaks we're gonna just improvise and continue and move along so we're gonna get started with our rice wrap i'm gonna put it in here into the warm water and so it doesn't need to stay very long if you have it into the water for about five seconds or so on each side that's that's good enough and then we want to take out the rice wrap 
and then we're going to put it onto the counter here or whatever you want to put it on to get started. Now, I am not a, a wrap connoisseur, so I'm sure I'm going to get some of this wrong. And so if you want to leave in the comments how you do your wrap, that's fantastic. Um, but I am not a wrap connoisseur, so you're going to see me fumble here a little bit here and there. But at the end, it's going to taste fantastic. It doesn't really matter how it looks. So I got a little bit of the salad dressing in here. And I got a little bit of the alfalfa sprouts in here that I'm going to throw in my rice wrap. And then I've got a little bit of the guacamole that I'm just going to throw in here. And the guacamole really is the star of the wrap. I mean, it's you can't really make this wrap without the guacamole because it's a guacamole rice wrap. Now, now that we have that, notice how the rice wrap will all of a sudden change its texture it'll become really nice and soft and pliable. And like I talked about me not knowing how to wrap things properly, it's gonna fall out, but that's all right. It's all right. The first one always looks the worst. <laughs> and then you make it better as you go along. So this is my guacamole rice wrap here. This is the first one. So I'm gonna put it on here and we're gonna do the same thing for the next rice wrap. And then hopefully we can actually get a rice wrap that doesn't actually break on us. So we're going to do that again. And it's going to turn out looking better this time, hopefully, uh, because like I said, I'm not a wrap connoisseur. But as I'm getting this rice wrap together, you know, anything can be substituted here. If you like certain things in your in your wraps and in your sandwich, go ahead and feel free to substitute it. You don't have to have the same thing that me, maybe you don't like radishes, maybe you don't like, you know, certain things. You don't have to put it in there for sure. Um, maybe you don't like alfalfa sprouts, just put in whatever you like, because at the end of the day, you know, it's, it's all about what you like to eat. And, and I can have so many things, but if you're not gonna like to eat it, then, you know, it, it, it's pointless type thing. So I'm gonna try to make this other wrap Yes, and my hands are getting all messy and that's why I have this paper towel here. So, so we can make sure that we get this done right. This time, right. Yes, yes, yes. I am making this wrap baby. And my hands are still messy, but that's all right. But you have this guacamole wrap. Here's my second wrap here. And it's, it is not very good, but hey, who's looking? Nobody except for us. So I'm gonna make this third one here and then we'll eat our wraps and then we'll talk about how this food has transformed my life because I'm sure you're probably dying to know and saying like, mm, are you sure, Shelly, that this food has transformed your life? Guacamole wrap, really? And it's not clickbait, I assure you. And, uh, you know, we'll make sure that you know, we'll give you some answers here as we go along. So my last wrap, and hopefully it's not going to be, oh, I think it might be a disaster like the first two. But anywho, this is not about how good it looks. This is about making sure you get some stuff, you get some stuff here into some good food into your body. And at the end of the day, no one's looking when you're making your wrap no one's looking so if you're seeing me mess and fumble and you're just like i can't make this rice wrap well know that shelly couldn't make it either but she still pulled it off here and at least the third one looks a little bit better than the first and the second one so those are my rice wraps and we'll talk a little bit more now about how this transformed their life but now but first let me taste a little bit of the the guacamole rice wrap and hopefully this isn't going to be as messy as it was to to make so let's see mm. okay. that is really good so good mm. oh my gosh that's really good and I love making it with the rice paper as opposed to the, the bread because I find sometimes the bread's a little bit heavy and making it with the rice paper, it's so light, it's really chewy. Adding the, the vegetables in there is fantastic. The guacamole 
I mean, guacamole is always good, but adding some of the ingredients like the sun-dried tomatoes in there and the Dijon mustard, fantastic. So I promised that I would talk about how this food and foods like this has transformed my life. And it really did. You know, about two years ago, I was about 200 pounds and steadily I decided, you know what, I got to make a change. And it was a, an aha moment for me. Um, I was sitting on the couch and as I was sitting on the couch, I felt my, my heart pumping blood up through my, my neck, down my arms. And I kept thinking to myself, oh, that's, that's not right. And I kept squeezing my hands like this and I'm just like, oh, something isn't feeling right. And that was my wake up moment to decide I've got to change the way that I eat and I've got to change the way that I do things and I've got to start exercising more I've got to start doing a lot of things because I didn't want to be you know almost 40 I'm a couple of years away from being 40 right now and I didn't want to be 40 and having to take insulin because of diabetes or having to you know, take high blood pressure pills because my, my blood pressure is high. I really just wanted to live a healthier life. And as I sat down and I was feeling my blood being pumped through my neck and down my arms, I kept thinking, oh my gosh, this isn't normal. And, you know, I had to go to the bathroom and look at myself in the mirror and really make that change. And so this change really was for weight loss at first, but then just became, I loved the journey. I loved the journey of after you know I, I lost some weight and I'm still not at my goal weight I think I have about another 10 to 15 pounds to go um, but I'm still not at my goal weight but after losing you know 55 pounds over a year I was able to maintain it so it's now the second year and I'm still able to maintain the weight and I'm able to maintain the weight in my healthy journey through foods like these even though my rice wrap doesn't look very great, it tastes fantastic. And at the end of the day, no one's looking at your rice wrap, only you and only you know how it tastes. So honestly, if this journey sort of inspires somebody, um, I, I really hope it does because this food and foods like this has transformed my life. Now I changed to a, a plant-based diet and you know i really eat as much plant nutrients as much as possible i get my proteins from lentils and chickpeas and um, believe it or not even greens have protein in them and you know i get my vitamin c and vitamin d all by eating plant-based foods um, i do supplement with a b12 but other than that all the other supplements other than b12 i get in a plant-based food and for me, it was a mind shift change. You know, I really had it to change. I really had to change the way I viewed food. I had to change the way I viewed my health. I had to change the way I viewed my body. And, and, and really that has helped me to um, make this journey and, and continue on this journey. And it's been such an amazing uh, trip for me. And, you know, it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy because, you know, when you decide to make a change like this, it changes your whole entire life, not just what you put in your body. It changes how you see life. Um, and I'll give you a little bit of a story. I had to get out of this denial that I had, this denial that, oh, you know, I'm healthy. Oh, you know, I, I don't need to, to, to eat this. I'm still young. I haven't, you know, I haven't hit 40 yet. I haven't hit 50 yet. I haven't hit 60 yet. And those are still young ages. And, but I realized that I needed to make some really, really small sacrifices in my life to achieve something really great. And that was I needed to sacrifice some of the foods I ate to achieve you know, the health goals that I wanted to achieve. And I sort of liken my process to, I don't know, like I liken it to, you know, getting out of, getting out of jail, so to speak. You know, it's like, you know, if I guess I'll use the analogy of jail, let's say Johnny, you know, goes to jail and, and at first he's like, you know what, this sucks. The system is what got me here. And, you know, and he's, he's blaming the system and, and it's not my fault. But at some point, he decides to wake up and say, you know what, yeah, maybe the system has failed me, but what I did got myself here. 
And like Johnny, I had to say, okay, what I put in my mouth got me at 200 pounds. And, and what I decide not to put in my mouth or what I decide to change uh, is what's going to make sure that I, I get somewhere else. And, and you know, Johnny, he's sort of sitting here in prison thinking, man, I've got to make that change. And what do I want to make that change for? I want to get out of this prison. And not only do I want to get out of this prison, I want to get out of this prison early and I want to stay out. And, and that was it for me. I wanted to sort of get out of this constant same way of thinking, same way of eating, same way of doing. And I wanted to lose the weight and I wanted to become healthier and I wanted to continue to stay healthy. And so moving to a plant-based diet was here, but it hasn't been easy. Uh, and if I use the analogy of the jail again, you know, uh, for example, if Johnny decides one day, you know what, I'm going to wake up and I'm, I'm not going to fight in jail anymore and I'm going to get out early. What's going to happen to Johnny is that the next day, somebody is going to do something that will instigate a fight. And Johnny's going to have to make that decision. Am I going to sit here and fight or am I going to walk away? And walking away is actually the best thing that he could have done and the strongest thing that he could have done. But for the people who are around him in the jail that's not realizing what he's doing to get out early and to stay out, they're going to be thinking he's weak. And although walking away is the strongest thing you can do, people are going to think he's weak. And so what's going to happen in your particular journey as well is people are going to start to say, are you going to be able to do this? You know, like this is, this is crazy. Why are you switching to a plant-based diet? You know, because where are you going to get your protein? Where are you going to get your calcium? Where are you going to get your this? Where are you going to get your that? And, and it's, it's going to be a difficult journey. And it was a difficult journey for me. I had to answer those same questions. Where are you going to get your protein? Where are you going to get your, your calcium? Where are you going to get your, you know, your vitamin A, your vitamin D, and all these other things that people are asking? And, and because they don't quite understand this journey that I'm on, and, and hopefully I'm, I'm, I'm telling this to somebody out there, and hopefully it's going to inspire somebody. But just like Johnny, some people are not going to understand. So, you know, Johnny's in prison and he's got 15 friends, and after they see him walk away from that fight, they're walking up to him and being like, man, like, what did you just do there? <laughs> Why didn't you fight? Because you're looking weak and we're hanging around you and we're going to look weak too. So you got to fight. And Johnny's going to be like, no, man, I'm not fighting. I want to get out of jail and I want to get out of jail early and I want to stay out of jail. And then some of his friends, well-meaning, are going to say, Johnny, there's 5,000 people in this prison. And out of 5,000, only a handful, only a remnant of people actually get out. What makes you think that you can be one of those people? And then Johnny's going to silently say, I don't think I'm going to be one of those people. I know I'm going to be one of those people. And it's like that for your health journey. You don't have to think you're going to be healthy. You've got to know you're going to get healthier. And you got to know, and that's a mindset change. And when that mindset change happened for me, that I knew I was going to be healthier, I woke up a changed person. I woke up saying whatever I needed to do to make sure that I hit my weight loss goals, but not only just weight loss, hit my health goals. I knew right away when I woke up that it was no going back. And that's the same thing that Johnny had to say. There was no going back. And out of the 15 friends that Johnny may have in prison, maybe only five of them say, you know what? Johnny's got something going on here. You know, the 10 might walk away, but the five might say, you know what? Yeah, if Johnny's getting out early, I'm not gonna be stuck here either. But those five friends that Johnny has are gonna watch what he's doing. And they're gonna make sure that He's actually setting himself up for success. And it's the same thing in our lives. We've got to set ourselves up for success. And the way that Johnny's going to do it, he's going to use his friends and then he's going to find a new group of friends as well that will help him along in his journey. And whenever things come up, they'll help him get through to make early parole and stay out of jail forever. 
And it's the same thing with our food and it's the same thing with my food. I had to make some really, really tough choices, you know, cutting out, um, cutting out uh, pops and soft drinks, cutting out sugars and snacks. The biggest thing for me was potato chips. I loved potato chips, Doritos barbecue chips to be exact. And as I say Doritos barbecue chips, I can literally taste the chips in my mouth right now because that's how much of an addiction I had to potato chips. And I had to say, you know what? No, I gotta cut all of those things out and I've gotta start substituting them with healthier things. And that's the thing, it's not just about what you're cutting out, it's what are you putting in? Or what are you substituting? And that's what really transformed my life. It was like, you know, wraps like this that don't really look good, <laughs> but taste fantastic. That really has helped me. And, and I'm hoping that by making these videos, they help you too. So here's to the guacamole wrap and here's to our journey. And I hope you really enjoyed this video today. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell and you'll get notified whenever I post another video. And uh, I guess we'll see you in the next episode. Ciao. Mmm. 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 So good. Uh...